I am and have always been a normal homosexual man who does all the normal things normal homosexual men do. Like what? Well, I'll tell you. I wake up, drink my coffee, have brunch around 11, walk my beach on freeze, then nap till half past seven. A night out at the symphony, such elegance, what poise. Or maybe I'll just stay at home with my two sewer boys. What? The answer is perfectly clear. It's a gay old life being queer. <laughs> Welcome back to Home Night. We're here with Nate in the Lane. Uh, that was a clip from Dick's the Musical. Yes. And this is a story about uh, separated twins. Yes, it's a, uh, it is a deeply silly, satirical, absurdist, R-rated queer musical based on the parent trap. There we go. <laughs> and you know, it's not for everybody. It's for, it's for the gay and the, and the, and the open-minded. It's for the <laughs> demented and depraved. <laughs> It, it, it is the cinematic enema America has been so desperate for. <laughs> so, you know, I would say have an edible or two <laughs> and run, don't walk to catch some dicks. <laughs> the music. Now, in the clip, you reference the sewer boys. And yes. I, I'm yes. glad you brought them because we don't see them in the clip. And I, I, know. I they really, no offense. Yeah. They kind of steal the show. Oh, totally. And, and you... oh, it's all anyone's talking about aside from Taylor Swift. Yes. Yeah. Sewer so Boys. So do you want to set up the Sewer well, Boys? Well, the Sewer Boys are, uh, <laughs> are, are these creatures I captured, obviously, in the sewer. And I, I take them into my home, and they're like rescue dogs. <laughs> and I keep them in a cage in my living room. <clears throat> and I feed them uh, sort of like a mother bird. They like deli meat. So I chew up ham and I spit it into their mouths. <laughs> you know, like now a Now, mother... when you're doing that as yes. an award-winning actor, yes. what's going through your head? Well, <laughs> you know, when, when we talked about this, uh, first, you know, when they brought them out, and most of the budget went into these puppets, by yeah. the way. <laughs> and when they brought them out, I said, oh, this looks like someone stole a Halloween display from Walmart's. This can't possibly be the real thing. And they say, oh, no, don't worry. We're, we're, we're just getting started. And then they put diapers on them. <laughs> so these are my, my sewer boys. All right. There's... <laughs> and and um, as you can see, they, 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 wear, they wear diapers. In the sewer, they didn't have to. But... Um, um, they, I want to tell you it's a wonderful thing. First of all, they're yeah. so much heavier than they look. Right? And, uh, Me too. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, they uh, they wear uh, ankle yeah. bracelets as well. That's and they're, right. they're, their names, I think this is the litmus test. Aren't, they're disgusting, aren't they? I think the litmus test for this movie are the names of the sewer boys are Backpack and Whisper. <laughs> now, now, if you think that's funny, this is the movie <laughs> for you. And, I, if, and if not, then you should probably stay home and watch that marathon of Blue Bloods. Yes. Now, I, I do want to say one yes. thing before. Uh, you were very nice and said, let's bring uh, the Sewer Boys on the show. Yeah. And we had to send, because they're very heavy. We couldn't ask you to bring them. Uh, so we spent a production <laughs> assistant. They don't to get really them. live with me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were at A24. Yeah, so we sent a production assistant to get them. Yeah. And uh, what uh, happened? she brought them on the subway uh, <laughs> like this. No! And guess what? No one batted an <laughs> eye. <laughs> New York City, baby! Nathan <laughs> Lane, everybody! <laughs> Dick This Friday, and the soundtrack is available now. We'll be right back with Lauren Superman and Rebecca Angelo.